This story and more is brought to you by Book Club Audio, the Australian audiobook marketplace. Find more amazing stories at bookclubaudio.com. Harry and Barry. Marty's nanny lived in an apartment that was high enough to have an elevator instead of walking upstairs. Marty loved to push the button in the elevator. The doors closed with a hiss. Marty's tummy flip-flopped. Then the doors opened with a ding. And there was Nanny waiting with a warm hug and a wide smile. Come in, come in, she said. Mummy and Nanny had coffee in the kitchen and Marty went out onto the balcony, which was a jungle of plants. Pushing aside the greenery, Marty could see over the rooftops to the ocean where he looked for ships passing on the horizon. Black ships had pirates looking for treasure and white ships carried princesses to faraway magical lands. Nanny had a fish tank and Harry and Barry lived in it. While Marty was on the balcony, Harry and Barry swam laps of their tank. They swam around the coral castle, through the kelp forest and past the singing mermaid on her rock. They stopped for a chat next to a sparkly starfish The kid's here again, Barry said. Yeah, I know, Harry replied. Now please be careful, Barry warned. Okay, I will, answered Harry. The fishy friends flicked their tails and swam up to the surface in a cloud of bubbles. Hello, Barry. How are you, Harry? Marty said. The goldfish looked the same except Harry had a black spot over one eye. That's how Marty could tell the difference between them. Marty sprinkled fish food over the surface of the water. Harry and Barry darted here and there, gobbling up the little brown flakes. Don't give them too much, Nanny called from the kitchen. Marty gave the food container an extra shake, then went into the kitchen for a snack. I don't feel so good, groaned Harry the fish. You've eaten too much again. Barry was cross. I'm going to have a lie down, said Harry, and drifted into the coral castle. Later, Marty walked past the fish tank on his way to the couch in front of the TV. Nanny, where's Harry gone? asked Marty in a worried voice. Nanny looked in the tank and knocked on the glass near the kelp forest. Barry waved his fins and darted into the coral castle. Oh well, said Marty. We can always get another goldfish. Oh, he sighed. Nanny took Marty's hand and placed it on his chest. Can you feel that? she asked. Yes, it's like a boom boom, said Marty. That's your heartbeat giving you life, Nanny said kindly. Harry has a tiny heartbeat that gives him life too. Life is precious, Marty. Marty had a little think. Then I hope Harry's just hiding, he said hopefully. Back in the coral castle, Barry poked Harry with his fin. Hey, the kid's really worried about you. Get up. Oh, okay, moaned Harry. And splash around like you are happy to be here, said Barry. Marty and Nanny watched with delight as Harry burst out of the coral castle as if he was on a Broadway stage. 
Harry flashed his fins and swished his tail. He popped his eyes and blew rainbow bubbles like kisses to his audience. Harry and Barry joined fins and took a bow, then disappeared into the kelp forest. Marty and Nanny gave the flamboyant fish a standing ovation. Later, Marty dozed on the couch with his head resting on Nanny's lap. I'm so glad that Harry found his heartbeat, he said. I think Barry might have helped Harry, said Nanny wisely. Love is everywhere, even in a fish tank.